Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Granite staters concerned about scheduling second dose of vaccine. Many say second appointment scheduled months later. Anxiety and confusion are spilling over for New Hampshire COVID-19 vaccine recipients who are now struggling to book second short appointments with the recommended time frame. From her computer in Exeter, Heather Olson has registered qualified relatives in three states for vaccine. She said she has found it impossible to schedule a second shot in New Hampshire within the recommended window. I think that they have said four to six week window, but 53 days is not within a four to six week window, Olson said. Jackie of Summersworth is in the same boat. She's anxious that her booster shot appointment isn't until March 13th after receiving her first shot January 5th. Nobody can give me answers, she said, and each number I call gives me another number to go to. Many have wondered whether protection from the vaccine is diminished if the booster shot is given outside the recommended window. Officials said there is not actually a fixed window. It does not affect the effectiveness, said Governor Chris Sununu. The first dose remains very effective. You can get the second dose over a very extended period of time. All indications are it can be stretched out a little bit. It also might be possible for some people to shift their appointments earlier. If you got your first dose and you are scheduled for your second dose and you had to schedule out a ways, we will be able to open up more second doses appointments, said Perry Plummer, who has been overseeing the vaccination program. We already plan to do it. We have the capacity to do it. It is just a matter of making sure the time is right. Some vaccine recipients have also been frustrated that in many cases they have to travel much further away from home to get the second shot. Officials said the state has the capacity to open up 22 vaccination sites once it gets enough vaccines to distribute. And that does it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your evening and see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night and goodbye everyone.